Okay, okay, so last week 45, which was a D. This is a harder paper, so I'd be interested to see how you get on with this. Missed out part of the question there, you haven't worked that out, but those are correct. <coughs> um, Ten percent isn't fifteen pound eighty. It's fifteen pound eighty-eight. So that's why you've made a mistake there. Um, you're allowed to use a calculator. So there's no need to use that method. You can just work it out on your calculator. Uh, length of football pitch: one hundred and twenty kilometers is probably ten b two Cardiff. Not the length of football pitch. Meters that one should have been. Eighty kilograms is reasonable and so with the other two. One block is 90 kilograms, well done. Uh, 9, 10 for the page. Chord and tangent are correct, but there is a H in chord. Um, I would have thought you'd be able to use a ruler, um, and I'd like to think you would have had one at home. <coughs> the perpendicular line is one that cuts at right angles like that. Um, 42 squares is a bit low. Um, it needs to be more than that. However, I think you've ticked most of the ones. That one there certainly should be ticked. But I just don't think you've counted them up correctly. I think you've lost count. But that is then the right thing to do. So you lose one mark for your range being out. <coughs> Four marks to the page. That's good. That's good. That's um, what shape we'd be looking for, um, except that the longer part of that, which is this, would be there. So that side would be longer than that side. And if it was full size, you would need, um, so switch those two around, you would need to measure it accurately. You're going to get two marks for that. Six out of ten is correct, but there are two others there as well that you haven't circled. So you haven't circled enough of them. That's correct. That's correct. And that's correct, but it's not in the simplest form, which is a quarter. So you'll only get one of those marks. 4346 is correct. Again, you can use a calculator, and on your calculator, you would just do 0 0.53 times 82 and work it out. And x is 8. Well done. Uh, 7, 9 for the page. <coughs> and 4 each time is correct. With this one, if it's not going up or down by the same quantity, the next thing you try is multiplying or dividing. Because this is going down, it isn't going to be multiplying. But looking at that, I think, oh yeah, well 9 divided by 3 is 3. 27 divided by 3 by 9 is 3. 81 divided by 27 is 3. So it's dividing by 3 each time. These questions we will practice soon, but if you have a look at the video clip to see how I go through those and you can practice those on the website Algebra in Context. That one's eight. This one, you're adding three, so that's five add three. This one will be x add three. Range is 58, mean is 52. Um, <coughs> right, this one's wrong. All you have to do here is if each one of those has been reduced by 15 pounds, then the mean will also be reduced by 15 pounds. The range, however, will be the same as it is there because both the largest and the smallest number will be 15 pounds less. So the difference between them will remain the same. So total for that page is eight. Again, here's a measuring question. You've just got to measure that distance and 
work out the scale. Um, bearings we will be practicing. You can have a go at them yourself again on the website. Just click on the bearings practice and um, have a go at it. Now with this question Right, these aren't markers, they are days. So it's going to requ it's going to take 60 days. But because you've only got 10 days, you need six markers. So again, that would be 60 days. So take a look how I explain uh, that on the video clip. Um, but you are going to get two marks for those workings out. Nothing because your conclusion is wrong. You're working with days, not markers. You're working with markers when it should be days. <coughs> and you're not really communicating but four marks. We're practicing those and certainly we'll be taking a look at exchange rates as well. And it looks now like you've just run out of time because some of these you should have been able to get some marks on. So a promising start, but a disappointing end. 10. 14, 18, 27, 35, 39, 39. 39 is an E. It's six marks off a grade D. Um, and like I said, quite clear in the last third of that paper, you didn't have enough time to complete it. Um, so if you are going to show an improvement in these questions, in these papers, you need to be allowing yourself more time to do the homework.